right, so the only questions that get a little bit more complicated are ones where you're not looking for potential energy. You're looking for height or mass, all right? So we use the same question, or the same equation and everything, same diagram, find known values. The only difference is we're gonna be dividing to isolate the variable or get it by itself. All right, so this one, a two kilogram baseball sitting on the edge of a roof has 200 joules of potential energy. How high is the roof? Start off, let's draw our house here apartment building, whatever. Um, we've got a two kilogram baseball, so I'll label that two kg, um, and it has 200 joules of potential energy. So I'm gonna write 200 J, and I'm gonna put it in a box, because that kind of, if you want, you can put little energy signs around it. All right, to show that's potential energy up here. And then we're looking for how high the roof is. So let's plug in what we know. So 200 joules, potential energy, so we've got 200 J, abbreviation for joules. Um, mass, so we know it's a two kilogram baseball, so we'll write that up here, two kilograms. Gravity, it doesn't say we're on another planet, so we're gonna assume it's on Earth. So that's 10 meters per second squared. All right, and then change in height, so we're actually looking for how high the roof is. So we're gonna leave that blank for now. So plug in values, let's write our equation again. So PE equals MGH. Um, potential energy, I know this time, so I've got 200 joules equals, um, my mass is 2 kilograms, so I'll write that in 2 kilograms. Again, we're going to use parentheses so that we can separate our numbers. Um, gravity, because we're on Earth, is 10 meters per second squared. All right, and then height, we don't know, so we'll just leave H blank, or leave H there by itself. So now we're going to solve for the answer. So we'll rewrite everything. We've got 200 joules equals two kilograms times 10 meters per second squared, meters per second squared. And then we've still got our height by itself. So we'll multiply out what we can. So two times 10 right here, and I'll leave 200 by itself. So 200 joules stays there. Two times 10 is 20. We've still got height there by itself. So now we've got a number and a variable here and numbers on this side. We want to get all the numbers to one side, all the variables to one side. There's only one variable, so this is pretty simple. Um, so we're going to divide both sides by 20 so I can cancel this out. So divide this side by 20, divide this side by 20. 20 over 20 cancels out, so I cross them out. Now I have 200 divided by 20, 200 divided by 20, not a tough problem. So H equals, and that's going to be 10. And so over here I have my answer with units, and I'm going to circle this because this is just a lot of numbers up there. So 10 equals H, answer with units. Um, we know that our H, if we look back to our notes, H is going to be measured in meters. So I'm going to write H equals 10 meters, or 10 M. That's it.